worry, Michael, because today is your lucky day. You get to see more hedgehog. Look at the sleepy boy. You gonna wake up? I see you kind of moving. Oh, I see a nose. Maybe if I go and fill your food bowl, you'll want to come out, even though there's already food in here that you didn't finish. I know what you really want, though. You want mealworms. He loves mealworms. He can tell. I'm getting the mealworms. I'm gonna get you some mealworms, Chip. Are you excited for your mealworms? He really loves mealworms. Do you smell the mealworms? Yeah, you do? You smell them? Do you want a mealworm? It's on my hand. Yeah, mealworm. Yummy. Oh, I dropped it. Oh no. Oh my gosh, I keep dropping a mealworm. Yum. Mmm, yummy. Yum. So good, right? We love a good mealworm. Yum. The best. Oh, you knocked it out of my hand. Okay, let's finish his food bowl. Here you go. I'm gonna put it right in front of you so you can come and eat it. When you're done hiding. Mmm. He's gonna go right for the worms. He's gonna like inhale all of the worms. You're such a good boy. Oh my gosh, you're the goodest boy ever. There's still worms in your dish. Do you want to eat them? No. No. What is spoiled bread? Making me hand feed him his worms. Mm, hello. Are you going to accept it? Yeah, I thought so. Hello, I brought a worm for you. Okay, goodbye. So I honestly don't really know how to start this video. I have no idea what I'm supposed to say. I, I don't know what I'm doing. If any of you guys have been around on my channel for a while or you've seen like a few of my videos, you probably know that I own a hedgehog, but He's never really on my channel much, and there's a reason for that, and I'm going to be talking 
all about that. I'm gonna tell you exactly why, what my future plans are, you know, I don't know, all that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about it. So I actually get a lot of requests when it comes to hedgehogs. People tell me they want to see more hedgehog stuff, they want to see my hedgehog more, they want me to do hedgehog videos, all kinds of stuff, and I really never do them. Really, the only time my hedgehog is ever really shown on my channel is in, like, feeding on my pets videos or like all my pets videos and even then I literally usually only show him for a very quick second. So I thought I would just explain to you guys the whole situation because this whole situation goes back like years ago. So let's, I don't, I have no idea what I'm doing so let's just go and get into it. So my hedgehog wasn't always mine. He's been in my house for a couple years, but he's only been mine since like February. My hedgehog actually used to belong to my little sister. He was her pet. Obviously I have all of my pets, but the hedgehog was hers. It was her responsibility to care for it, clean it, feed it, you know, all that stuff. So it wasn't my pet, it was hers. Thing is, my sister is young, she is a couple years younger than me. She got this hedgehog when she was like 11 years old or something, which isn't really the best idea. Like, obviously, I, I'm not her parent, I wasn't the one who decided, but my parents allowed her to get this hedgehog when she was like 11, which wasn't really a good decision on their part because she got bored of it, she didn't really take care of it, and you know, common, this, Kind of stuff happens a lot. Parents get their kids a pet and a lot of the times their kids just get bored with it, they stop wanting to clean it, they don't want to feed it, they just get bored and tired and they lose interest. And that's pretty well exactly what happened. The hedgehog was not being cared for properly. Um, I don't remember everything but the, thinking back there were quite a few things incorrect about it. So she had this hedgehog and she got bored of it pretty fast. Its cage wasn't getting cleaned. It was being fed a very poor diet. It was overweight. It had no heat. All kinds of things were wrong. So because she wasn't really being responsible with it, that's when I kind of had to step in. I knew she wasn't cleaning the cage, so I had to clean the cage because she wouldn't do it. I had to make sure it had food every night because she always forgot. I had to make sure it had water. I had to make sure its nails were getting clipped and everything like that. So even though it was her pet, I was the one kind of caring for it even though it wasn't mine. I never asked to have a hedgehog. I never went and bought a hedgehog. I just kind of had this one become my responsibility because she wasn't taking the best care of it. So back when I used to live at my mom's house, that was pretty well the main reason I never talked about my hedgehog because it wasn't actually mine. It was my sister's. She was the one in charge of it. She was the one like buying the supplies and everything so it wasn't really my pet it was hers then come i believe it was february when i moved it might have been january but i think it was february so i'm gonna say february february i moved here to my new location and i knew that i couldn't leave the hedgehog behind because I knew if I left it there it wasn't going to be getting fed properly if at all like who knows if she would just forget to feed it for days it wasn't going to get cleaned it wasn't going to get proper care and attention everything like that so I brought the hedgehog with me so come February he became mine I was now like his owner so it was now my job to buy his food, it was my job to buy his bedding, it, uh, it was my job to care for him, clean him, bathe him, feed him, you know, everything like that. So immediately when I got him, I got him a new cage, I got him new food, I put him on a new diet, I got him a ceramic heat emitter, um, I got him a new wheel, I basically got him a whole new setup and a whole new diet and everything like that. Now, the biggest reason I never ever showed him on my channel really was because he was so, so antisocial. Since my sister really lost interest in him, she was never interacting with him. She was never bringing him out of his cage. He really had no socialization, so he was a very, very antisocial hedgehog. He was very grumpy, very cranky. He did not like people. He was just 
so cranky all the time. So that was really something I had to work on. I had to figure out what worked best for him. I had to start getting him used to me because he was so, so scared. And given the fact that he's already a few years old, it's a lot harder to get him to warm up to people than it is to get a young hedgehog. If you have a young hedgehog and you basically raise them up getting used to people, they'll probably be a lot more social. Where he had went years without proper socialization, he was an extremely timid hedgehog. It was really hard working with him and yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. He was just not the easiest to work with. He would, had a hard time warming up. But thankfully, months later, I figured out what worked best for him. During this whole process, I actually tried out multiple different cages for him. This may get kind of controversial. Um, people have different opinions on this. I just want to be open about it. I believe I'm really doing what's best for him. So just because you may have a different opinion, I, I'm i the one who lives with him 24 seven. I'm the one seeing him in person all the time. I'm caring for him. I've seen changes in his behavior. I believe I am doing what's best. So basically when my sister had him, she kept him in a fairly small cage. I don't remember the exact dimensions, but it wasn't overly large. It was a smallish one. When I got him, I upgraded him to a four Four by two by two which is quite a large cage and often recommended for hedgehogs so I had him in that cage for a while and I noticed his behavior was getting worse now I do want to point out that he had multiple hides in the cage it was not an issue of that he had literally three to four hides at a time he had lots of places to feel secure but no matter what when he was in the four by two he was extremely timid, extremely shy, extremely grumpy. He would never come out at night. I would never see him on his wheel. And I know you may be thinking, oh, well, it's because they run on their wheel at night. I am completely nocturnal. So it's not a matter of the fact that I just wasn't awake when he was using his wheel because it is currently 3.19 a.m. I am equally as nocturnal as my hedgehog. So... That wasn't the issue. I was up when he should be up also, and he was never leaving his hide. He wouldn't come out on his wheel. He would literally only leave to eat, and then he would go back, and he was just not doing well. After some time and some research, I decided I was going to try putting him in a smaller cage. I have read some articles that show sometimes, even though a lot of hedgehogs do love all the extra room, a lot of them love having a big cage. If you have a hedgehog, I encourage you to get a big cage and try it out, but some of them just don't like it. I put him in a smaller cage and I almost immediately noticed changes. He was far more active. He was actually coming out of his highs. He was running on his wheel all night long. He would come out and crawl around and play with his toys. He wasn't just staying in his hide 24 seven and only coming out to eat. He also warmed up to me very quickly after I changed his cage. After I changed his cage, I noticed a big change in his behavior, not only just himself in the cage, but also towards me. As I said, he was always very shy, very grumpy, very just cranky. He wasn't happy. He was just always scared. He all like he honestly immediately warmed up after the cage change he is now to the point where like i said he's coming out every night he's playing with his toys he's playing on his wheel he will come right up to my hand he will eat out of my hand he has no problem with me picking him up whereas he used to just be so so scared and so shy because he had never had socialization before he had never had really proper care, he didn't have a proper diet. He's improved a lot since I got him. One of the biggest things too is he lost a lot of weight. As I mentioned before, he was on a really crappy diet before and I switched him onto a proper diet and he has lost a lot of weight. He's a lot healthier now and he's just doing so much better. 
Well, those are really the reasons I never showed him on my channel. The first reason being he was just very antisocial. He was very cranky. He was very shy. It was hard to work with him. It took a long time for him to warm up to me. And the second reason being is I was worried about talking about his whole cage situation because a lot of people will look at that and just think I downgraded my animal just because but I promise you that that's not the issue if I wanted to put him back in a 4x2 I could easily do that it's not like I don't have the space it's not like I don't have the money I could have him in a 4x2 if I wanted to but he did really poorly in that cage and I moved him into a smaller cage and he has done amazing and I I'm confident in my decision. I really believe I did what's best for him. I've seen the changes. I've seen the improvements. I've seen how much happier he is. So I really do believe I did the right thing, but I know that no matter what, people will think that I'm being cruel for putting him in a smaller cage, from taking him out of the 4x2 and moving him back into a tiny cage. No matter what, I don't know, there's going to be people who disagree with me, but I... I believe I'm the one here with my animals all day. I'm the one seeing them every single day. I'm the one feeding them. I'm the one caring for them. I'm the one watching their behavior. I know when they're unhappy. I know when they are happy and I can guarantee you my personal hedgehog, mine, just mine, I'm not saying every hedgehog is like this, my hedgehog was unhappy in a large cage. He is now very happy in his current cage and I am really happy with the way he is. I so that's really it. I don't know. That's just what I wanted to talk about and kind of clear up the reasons as to why I don't really show my hedgehog that often on my channel. Now, hopefully moving forward, I can actually show him more. Now that he is a lot friendlier, now that he is more active, now that he's on a good diet, now that he's just doing better, I'm hoping I can show him more, I can do more hedgehog videos because I know you guys really want to see them, so... Yeah, I don't know. Moving forward, I would really like to do more hedgehog videos. I think that would be awesome. Now that he's just doing a lot better, I think he would be great to feature in some videos. So stay tuned if you want to see the hedgehog videos. All that said, I guess I will leave it off here. Um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, turn on notifications, check out all of my social media, everything is MSAM99, it will be in the description below, but check that out. All that said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you all next time.